Yeah. Yeah. You ready? Ready. Are we live? Live. Are we live now? Yeah. Are we sure? only? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. In Las Vegas. Are we live, Mike? We're live. Okay. So, Dave Canterbury, Helicon ambassador here at Shot Show 2020, at the Helicon booth. Just want to talk to you a little bit about some of my favorite Helicon products, things that are new to the U.S. market, and things that are coming out this year. The first one, my drop dead favorites, is the Swagman Roll, and you can see the Swagman Roll here in a coyote tan on this mannequin. The great thing about this piece of gear is that it's so versatile. And if you follow me, you know that I'm one of those guys who likes everything to be multifunctional. This piece of kit is multifunctional. It's made to wear underneath the military poncho. It buttons into the military poncho, or it can be worn as a standalone garment like it's being shown on this dummy with a hood. The other advantage to this is it has clips on the bottom here, and it has tabs here, so that it can actually be used as an underquilt under a hammock if you need to use it for that, or it can completely zip up to be used as a standalone. So you have a three-piece functional gear here that's made with Polar Guard. I've slept in this personally myself in Italy on the edge of the Austrian Alps with nothing but a bivy sack and this at 40 degrees in 25 mile an hour. No problem whatsoever with a base layer of merino wool. So this is a very versatile piece of gear. Like I said, it's made to go underneath a military poncho. So unlike the wooby that you're used to in the military that doesn't have a hood, this has a hood and acts just like a wooby. But being Polar Guard, it's warmer than the Wooby, and it's more waterproof than a Wooby, which makes it a very, very good piece of kit, in my opinion, and it's probably one of my most recommended pieces of gear that I use. Now, to go along with this, you also have things like Bergen. And this Bergen pack is 350 denier on the outsides, 1,000 denier on the bottom, where it's going to take the most abrasion. It's a small pack in comparison to a larger pack like the Matilda, but it gives you enough space for a good scouting pack. If you're sleeping with a hammock and you've got the Swagman roll and you've got a small tarp made out of silk nylon or something like that, this pack is the perfect pack. It will hold your water containers. It's got morale patching on it. It's got areas where you can put molly on it if you need to, but it doesn't have too many eight packs that have four million pockets on them. You can't find anything you're freaking looking for. It's easier just to have one main big bucket and anything you've got to get to right away, like your water bottle, like your compass, like the material you're going to use to put up your tarp or your tarp itself, you put on the outside and your rain gear. Everything else goes on the inside in one main pocket where it's not hard to get to. So that's the Bergen pack. Now, it's big brother on this dummy is the Matilda. Okay, and the Matilda, again, has a denier bottom where it's going to take the most abrasion. And it has 350 denier here. It's got good water resistance. It has the same setup system of just a couple outside pockets and a main bucket. I like that really, really well. This is the modern version of the old Alice pack. So if you were a fan of an Alice pack, this pack is definitely for you. It has pass-throughs here, so you can actually drop an ax in here, drop a shovel in here, anything like that. These here are really good for holding things like an axe or a shovel because they're going on really well and they're not going to rip out if you drop something heavy. This pack is one that we use a lot of times when we train the military. If they request equipment from us, we recommend them to use the Matilda. So it's a very good option for that. The EDC pouch, one of the hot items on Self-Reliance Outfitters has always been this EDC pouch. It fits the stainless steel canteen set perfectly. It has enough room in it. It also has a pouch that you can use it as a standalone or molly. And it has enough room in it that you can put the full canteen cup and kit with the lid in there and the stove, as well as two external pockets you can use for your fire starting materials, your headlamp and things like that, if you're just trying to make this a day scout type kit to walk away from camp. Clothing wise, well, let's talk about this haversack first. This is on the outside. This is a new bush haversack. Again, you've got a heavier, denier, denier material here. You've got a nice European military on this, which makes it very traditional. 
just basically a loop and a latch, and I like that really, really well. Very easy to get undone. You've got internal pockets. You have a Velcro panel here. You have lots of molly so you can attach externals if you need to. You have an internal pocket here on the inside. You have a water bottle or a saw pouch here. And you have an internal pocket here that you can put more important items that you want to protect like your wallet. And you also have a tab here where you can hang your keys, your headlight, a flashlight, anything like that you need to get to readily that you don't want to lose. And I like the fact that this has got a carrying handle on it so I can hang this thing off a tree when I'm at camp and work from this thing without having to put it on the ground. And then, of course, you have a nice adjustable body strap on this thing so you can carry it on the side of your body. Now, along with that, they have a lot of really, really good clothing coming out. This is the Pilgrim Anorak. And I've been testing this Pilgrim Anorak now for about three years. It's made out of almost a G1000 type material. You can actually wax this if you want to, to increase the waterproofing on it. It's a canvas type material. It does swell up and it does have some water resistance in and of itself, but it's not waterproof. However, you can wax this with like a fixin' wax, a Greenland wax, some type of clothing wax. The more you wax it, the more waterproof it's gonna become, but the less breathable it will become at that point too. There's no such thing as waterproof and breathable. The two don't go together. If it's gonna let air escape, it's gonna let water in. So you have to decide what that happy medium is for you. But as far as a bushcrafting type anorak that you can wear over things to create a layer, it's got lots of areas that you can open up on it to get breathability if you need to open up and let some heat escape. It's got lots of pockets on it. I like these heavy buttons it's got on it, like field jacket pocket buttons. I can't even hardly get this one undone because it's brand new. But I want to show you what this button looks like. I see this big toggle type button on this. That is a huge improvement over something that is just sewn on like a button. When it comes to replacing them in the field, this thing's not going to tear up on you. You're not going to lose that in the field, and you're not going to have to worry about replacing it. It's got side slant pockets on it like the old military fatigues had during the Vietnam War. So it's very easy to get in and out of without having to fish around over the top to get the stuff. You just reach in and you're good. It's got a nice hand warming pocket on the front. That's got a nice fleece lining in it so you can keep your hands warm. It's got drawstrings all the way around so you can tighten the thing up around your waist so that heat's escaping through the bottom. Nothing's coming in from the top. It's got pockets in the sleeves that are also vented, and you can open all this stuff up if you need to, and it will let the fabric breathe more so that you're letting heat escape from your body. It's very important with any fabric like this or any large piece of garment that you have like this that it has some breathability. You can thermoregulate if you start to overheat when you're moving. This gives you that ability as well. It also has zips on the side for ventilation here that you can unzip to ventilate the So the thought process that went into the design of this is huge. And for an outdoor garment, it's perfect. For the woodsman, for the hunter, for the bushcrafter, it's a perfect garment. It's got a bill on the hood so that the rain drips off instead of right into your face, which I think is good. And it also has a drawstring hood on the front and a tab on the back that you can adjust so you can make the hood shorter or longer over your head, depending on how hard the rain's driving in on you. So last but not least, we'll talk about this shirt real quick. It's the shirt that I'm wearing now. It's a Bushcraft series shirt. It's made with a kind of a stretch flannel type fabric. Um, it's nice and light. It's very breathable. It's hot inside here today and I have a merino wool shirt underneath it and I'm not really hot. So I like that. It's got a really nice color to it for the woods. And I think that it matches the garments and clothing that Helicon makes. And the fabric choices are chosen specifically for the type of activity that this garment's gonna be used for. So this is chosen to be a woodland type fabric for that reason. It's made to be something that you're gonna wear abrasion resistant, but yet be breathable. And that's what's important about things like this. It also has pockets on the side that zip down here that you can get inside of to stash things in as well as the pockets on the top that are Velcro. I like the Velcro pockets here. It makes them very, very easy to get into. And it has all the same features that the shirt on this dummy has, including the fact that the fabric itself, I'm trying to show you a good example of it here, actually stretches. There you can see it really well right there. The fabric actually has some stretch to it so that when you're trying to move in the woods, it's never so tight on you that it can't move and restrict your movement. That's very important. So everything that Helicon is doing is 
the thought process is there for what that garment or what that piece of gear is going to be used for. And that's really what I admire about Helicon the most. These are the new Pilgrim pants. Again, they're made from the same almost 1,000 almost 1, type material. Very abrasion resistant. So in Ohio, where I live, where you got thorns everywhere you walk, that just trashes your clothing, this stuff will not get tore up. It's very, very abrasion resistant. It's got good seams on it. It's got nice big pockets on it to put lots of stuff in the cargo sides. And it has an actual, on the hip side of it, it actually has a heavy hip padding here, almost like the old school Western pants had on them where they gave you a rise up above the hip so that when you've got a backpack sitting there, it's not abrading up and down on you. That's important when you're out backpacking for lots and lots of miles. So all in all, I just wanted to talk to you a few about talk to you guys about a few of these products. There's one more product back here I want to talk about real quick, and that's gloves, because Helicon's come out with some new gloves this year that I think are really cool. So if you follow me back here, we'll talk about those. So this is a new line of bushcraft gloves that Helicon's come out with this year. You have a nice lightweight deerskin glove here, like a driving glove. None of these fit me very well. And this is a lightweight work type glove for the woods. You're not abrading your hands because let's face it, if you tear your hands and feet up, you're not gonna be doing much in the woods. It's good to wear gloves when you're doing anything, processing wood and things like that. So this is just a good everyday use glove. This one is the one that I prefer to wear most of the time. This is more of a work type glove. It's got a little bit of padding in the palm. It's got a stiffer edging to it here, and it has a cap on it here to tighten it down around your wrist. This is the Woodcrafter, and this is my preferred glove right now. Now, they also have one here that's lined for winter use. It's got like a faux sheep lining in it. And again, it has the same thing. It has a tightening device here to keep it tight around your wrist. That is a really, really nice, heavy leather, warm glove to wear, especially on things like trap lines, where I spend a lot of my time in the wintertime, I'm driving, I'm pulling a, I've got a lot of wind coming out. These things keep your hands warm, no question about it. So these are two of the products in the Bushcraft line. Helicon has recently released.